Shimrinyoku is forest bathing, uh, so it just uh, doesn't mean to go and walk in nature uh, in a normal way, but it's an immersion in nature through five senses uh, at the same time, um, using all the senses, I would say also the six one, to have an experience that is at 360 degrees. Um, normally we don't use all the senses simultaneously. We normally use one sense at a time and this prevents uh, uh, a lot uh, of uh, um, imbalances, I would say, trying to use the five senses in a way uh, that uh, is basically allowing to alert our immune system that something is happening in our body so that then there can be um, a work done on, on a soul level, on a body level uh, and on a mind level uh, to try to prevent that. One of the, of course, the best way to do that would be experience time in nature because nature is uh, uh, beauty and uh, beauty as an experience uh, is the, the way our soul uh, expresses itself. Um, in order to use the five senses, which is not something that is common in our life, you need to be aware, but that's not enough. Because you need to use a different level of awareness, which is not the awareness that comes uh, um, from your mind. Uh, it's um, a way of uh, um, living without ju judging, without filtering the reality that is coming. Um, and in order to practice, of course, you need to go in nature. That can be a garden, that can be a forest, but also a relationship with some plants that you can have at home. Uh, or open a window and have a look at a tree that is outside uh, or just take a piece of fruit in your hands and imagine that this is a symbol of the inner forest uh, and uh, your imaginary world, your imaginary forest as a symbol of the uh, outside uh, forest. So specifically the Shinrin-yoku is the path of the Yamabushi, which are the Japanese shamans and literally Yamabushi means uh, uh, hidden in the mountain. Um, and uh, their uh, way is related uh, to uh, the way of the Shugendo, so it's a way of uh, discipline, it's the way of the martial arts, uh, um, it's the way of when Taoism arrived to Japan uh, and it became Zen Buddhism, so it's a mixture between um, esoteric uh, uh, Buddhism uh, as well uh, uh, and uh, uh, Shintoism. Um, where, uh, of course, we have a mixture between the animistic religion and uh, the inheritance, the heritage that came from Buddhism, from the, uh, from the Asian, uh, from the other Asian countries. And this is the, the way of reaching the spiritual way through discipline, through the hard way that, of course, they would do. Like, for example, in the, in the martial arts, uh, um, when you fight uh, in an honorable way, there is no mind because your mind doesn't need to be involved in order to win an enemy. An, an enemy. And this is also an amazing rule that we can apply in life. Because if you're going to use your mind to defeat an enemy, thinking, okay, I'm going to fight uh, my uh, enemy, beating my enemy with a stick, with a sword, uh, in, in that it would be in the martial arts, on the right shoulder, because that is a weak part, uh, I'm just going to uh, lose. I'm going to lose the focus uh, because I'm just focused on one part, not on the whole situation, not on the whole body. And uh, in um, being in a known mind, it, it always be to be, to observe things from a higher perspective, to take that as an opportunity to see uh, the whole situation. And, and in case of nature, of course, uh, in, um, they wouldn't use, like in a martial art, uh, a katana, a sword, they would use uh, the bow. 
the boys is the stick that they use when they um, go into nature which is one of the beautiful tools that can be used in the Japanese shamanism and normally it says that the bow how do you find your bow your big stick wooden stick when you go into the forest the perfect size has to be from your heart to the ground because that's the way to reconnect your heart with with the ground with uh, uh, with nature and that's the right length for you uh, so that then you can manage them, you can, uh, you can handle that uh, and that is an amazing tool that you can use uh, um, for rituals, uh, that you can use to go for a walk uh, as just an, um, a normal uh, walking stick uh, to cut uh, attachments, to cut things uh, um, in a shorter version of course uh, it would be something that you can use for example in, uh, in a distant healing that would not be just Japanese, but it would be an, a, another way of using and doing uh, online healing or distant healing, considering the body of the person, visualizing the body of the person merging with that stick. So that substitutes the fact of having the person uh, um, in front of you and it would act uh, in the exact same way, because of course, this is the connection that we have uh, uh, we have with nature uh, and uh, when we identify ourselves with a piece of nature, we identify with the whole nature. It's where we uh, miss one part of the connection that we lose the whole, uh, uh, well, that we hold, lose the whole situation because we don't see the interconnectedness that the whole life has and also among uh, human beings uh, that wherever it's happening in our life uh, uh, has a meaning and has a ripple effect uh, is affecting someone else uh, and then it comes back to us uh, into um, a circular effect where we are living actually sometimes the consequences of our own actions without even realizing that because we were interacting with our else and when we interact we create something we get affected and we affect so we create other causes for new karma that uh, uh, can be um, can be realized but when when we practice the, um, the forest bathing and we identify ourselves as part of nature as part of the forest which is actually the best healer where we are going out is actually the best healer when we have something and we feel that we can receive from nature and experience that uh, as also a temple of a uh, uh, quest, a temple of uh, uh, having the opportunity to have our answer instead of just going out for a walk uh, and uh, thinking of something else or going out for a walk uh, and keep chatting with another person then we wouldn't experience uh, uh, the whole uh, um, the whole situation in the right way because our mind would always be engaged uh, in some in another place it would be somewhere else instead of just being concentrated in uh, uh, in the way we are walking in finding answers like for example it would be going into a normal walk asking big questions burning questions in our life and finding the answers over there which is one of the shamanic practices and this allows us to experience and uh, also benefit something that is free is accessible to us uh, uh, it will never be against us because even if we have the sensation that we want to shout uh, at someone uh, if we do that uh, uh, at the grass uh, uh, the, the planet, the, the earth will take it and it will transform uh, those words uh, into something else, into seeds, into bloom uh, inside of us doing that at the person so that then we would of course uh, uh, have uh, um, not, a, not a beneficial effect on the person because then it would create a trauma, it would create uh, all the emotional uh, uh, consequences uh, while if we really 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 need, need to um, explode and uh, getting our emotions out there it's always better to go and have this conversation also shouting at the tree then we can say to, we can say sorry, but the, the but the tree would absorb it, the trunk would absorb it, and would recycle those toxins that we are sending out uh, and and generate new new plants and new flowers. <laughs>